Hi there. This is uh, Blitz Learn Daily number 20. So uh, it's celebration time, it's a round number. So it's the 20th time that I do this week daily update. Happy Friday. Today I ask the question, is a Thursday better than a Friday? Uh, my means to uh, want you to stress you a little bit to point to uh, taking different perspectives. What is worth more? having Friday and the outlook on Saturday and Sunday, which is free. So usually people feel a bit lifted up on Fridays and a little bit better. Or is it already to look forward on this feeling, this emotion on the Thursday? I know that in at least one city in Switzerland before the pandemic, it used to be that people were saying, and also especially students from university, that Thursday is their favorite night because it's a little bit forbidden to go and make a really hard party. And you still have to get up on Friday, but you know, you can do it. And they started to celebrate the feeling of the feeling looking forward to the weekend already on the Thursday, which is kind of natural. Of course, you could say um, you can, could do also do that on a Wednesday then, right? When you look forward on the Thursday's feeling that you look forward on the Friday's feeling because you will have uh, time on the weekend, you could also start to celebrate on Wednesday. But when you celebrate and party that hard very early, uh, maybe you will be deprived just by your fatigue and the amount of alcohol you drank over the course of time. Then another thing important today, the birthday of uh, Johann Friedrich Gauss, uh, maybe one of the greatest mathematicians of all time, a man that has certainly influenced uh, all our lives in all ways. Uh, he invented the normal distribution among many other things and also the Gauss theorem, which is a, a, a physical theorem that, I'm, I mean, I'm not so on top of that, but uh, it's, it's like it relates the, the surface um, in, a, in a, the continuous, let's say, flow through a surface to um, and that of a, yeah, of a, of a, um, of a line, um, but doesn't matter. He, when he was very young, he taught himself uh, the alphabet and to, to calculate and in school, he had um, uh, troubles with a teacher also because he was so smart very early on that he invented the stuff himself, which he should have been taught afterwards. So this kind of person is maybe one in a century or maybe several centuries, one in a billion maybe people. It's a really an exception, but um, so this is special about today. It is uh, Friedrich Gauss's uh, birthday. Great day, therefore. So uh, last but not least, what was the last topic? Ah, oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so in regards to weekdays and in regards to Friedrich Gauss and in regard to everybody, actually, to you, uh, I want to quickly touch on something which is uh, I call do one thing at a time. Because this week on Wednesday it was, I really started to feel overwhelmed. I, had, uh, I opened a YouTube channel and some social media things and I worked with people on Upwork on this stuff while I was doing my normal job. So, but continuously there was this communication from the chats from everywhere. And also in my profession, there are a lot of uh, very important topics going on at the same time. It's very complex. And all of a sudden I felt overwhelmed and I was just doing sort of the spinning down the meetings and the emails, etc. But I started to feel that I don't have really an impact like that. So then I came back to a strategy that I apply for many years very successfully. Is yeah, just ignore the other stuff for a moment and do one thing. So the first thing you do in the week, maybe the full Monday or just in the mornings is the one thing you want to do and everything comes afterwards. So it's like uh, <clears throat> jongleur uh, playing with many uh, balls at the same time, having to keep them in the air. Uh, sometimes you just need to 
uh, keep yourself the room, the space in which you can do the one thing that matters a lot. So maybe you have to schedule twice a day or so a correspondence time when you respond to emails because otherwise people will find it awkward if you don't write them back. But what happens if you bundle stuff, if you bundle it and you set yourself a goal, an ambitious goal, uh, that you, for example, this week it was that we really write a big document, a strategy, and I had some personal goals. So uh, when I achieve those goals, I can live of them for many months because then afterwards it's just retrieving some facts there, reusing that slide there, uh, taking this text and put it into another context. So the ever-changing context then, you can serve with the fundaments that you have built within the bundles time. So then we come back to, you can only do, really do one thing at a time. Otherwise it's just a pushing back of stuff. But when you're multitasking, the quality of what you do will suffer. So it is very likely that things start to come back to you in a loop over and over and bother you much more and create more of the overwhelming feeling. So you can respond uh, you know, worse to future inputs. And this is a self-reinforcing cycle and you can break that cycle by deciding to do one thing at a time and just to prioritize for a week, for a day, whatever time frame you give yourself on a challenge that you put on yourself and afterwards you can kind of live from that. Also the satisfaction when you achieve that goal makes you happier and better in a better mood to interact with other people so they have more um, pleasure also to give you information, to work with you, to help you. So it speeds up the whole process whilst in the other direction when you feel overwhelmed and stressed and you don't know what to do, it's the opposite, right? And it has a lot of impacts that one maybe doesn't notice because one is so bloody busy all the time. So this is my closing remark for Friday. I hope you don't work anymore. I hope you are creative or doing something you love. I wish you uh, from all of my heart a good weekend. Enjoy as many perspectives with your friends, with your family, with elaborate and articulate people and there are plenty of them. And uh, yeah, see us next week.